amazing. Uh, it's a great way to start off the season. Um, reaching top five in the country uh, was, was super cool. Uh, I'm happy I could have been a part of it. You know, the wooden legacy going to Phoenix play on the Southern Sport against Georgia Tech. You know, it was cool to be undefeated for so long. We were one of the last two undefeated teams in the country at one point, and uh, it was really cool. You know, we get a lot of national praise, and it's cool to really you know, continue to put the program on the map. Just at one point, we were top five in the country, which is honestly a dream come true for me. But at one point, it just came out to us and Baylor's undefeated teams in the country, which is super cool to say that. Ewan and defending national championships at the time were the only two teams that were unbeaten for a long period of time. I just felt like it was more exciting about their play because uh, I thought everybody wanted to beat you and everybody has their eyes on you just because you're one of the unbeaten left, so it was super awesome. Hello and welcome inside a sold-out Galen Center just across Figueroa from the University of Southern California where tonight the USC men's basketball Trojans take on the UCLA Bruins. Throw off the record books because it's a rivalry game. This is the game we circle on the calendar every year. It's USC versus UCLA, the sold out game on center, and it's next. Super excited. I honestly felt proud of myself and the program itself to be able to say, like, they had a sold out crowd against UCLA. I feel like that happened only because we played them, but I feel like that game in particular was really big for both ranks. And um, it was just kind of like one of those games where we needed to win that game super badly. And just to have the entire student section and fans like just all packed in there just to see us play, like it felt like we were playing the Coliseum. Peterson to the post. Peterson goes inside of White. White wide open for a right hand layup. And he waits for the student section as he gets back on the D. Peterson to trigger in. Look at Ross on Cole and doesn't have it much. Corner, he corner is turned around to a three. And right through the number one net. Peterson has hot gas. Bounce pass inside, contested once, and it falls on the ground with Morgan. Morgan will kick it out to Dixon Waters, he'll walk into a three and rattle it off. On the Peterson, three lines up the three on the way. Another one goes down for Drew Peterson. Two on one for the Trojans, back to Ethan. Ethan all the way for the right hand layup. Timeout, Nick Brunin, timeout, UCLA. Galen back on his feet. Peterson will run the offense, comes to the right wing. Now he looks to drive hard, gets the block. Turn out fade away by Drew, and nothing but that. Here's Peterson, the Dixon Waters left corner three. That one good. Race to Dixon Waters on the spot. Ethan throws it down by Polo, cuts in. His tear drop is good. Back to back shots by Polo. Has tied the game at 45. Peterson against Ethan Double Team goes to Anderson. Anderson over top of the key three on the way. Nothing but that for Ethan. Ethan has a one on three. Will he attack? He will. Hero steps in the lane. Ethan Peterson looks to go to work. Peterson between his legs. Peterson runs into Tyler Campbell, pulls up for three, and knocks it through! It's through again! He can't miss! You know, I felt the rhythm early on and uh, you know, just kept shooting the ball. My teammates you know, gave me all the faith they had. And, uh, uh, last two Isaiah out, such a key piece. It was, uh, you know, we had to have guys step up and, you know, Reese stepped up that game and actually everyone stepped up. Um, but, you know, a couple, of, you know, cool and crazy shots, like the one in the, you know, right wing over Riley and, uh, it was, it was just, you know, a, you know, once in a season type, you know, performance that, you know, I'm thankful that shots are falling that night. Drew also had a big game. I had a really good game. Um, we didn't have Isaiah, so it was kind of like a little tougher, but people like Ethan stepped up, people like Max stepped up at the end. We just played really well as a team, you know, and coming down the stretch, like, we just, I thought, I told people the entire time in the huddle, I was like, oh, we're going to win this game. There was, uh, obviously, you know, you hear USC football school and all that stuff, but, um, you know, we, I think we really showed with the fans this year that um, the basketball program is here to stay and the support is, you know, here to stay. Um, so just the rushing of the court was really awesome, and that was my first court swimming experience. Um, I've been in, so uh, it was definitely one of the cooler things I've been involved with uh, in, in my time here. For sure. Uh, yeah, you know, the turning didn't end up, um, you know, as we'd hoped, but, you know, I think it was still a really successful year as a whole, you know, um, with being in the top five at one point, 26 wins, um, just the amount of games we won that were close and the, the big games we did win. Uh, we battled through a lot of adversity this year and, um, you know, we'll continue to put this program on the map and we're going to prove that we're here to stay. Being a part of uh, the growth of USC's basketball program has been super cool for me. Um, just from my freshman year all the way to my junior year, I felt like we got better and better in, in, in more respects throughout the country each and every year. 
I think we build a foundation that honestly that can take this program to new heights. Um, I'm honestly I'm blessed to say I was a part of it. Lead a run, top five team, ranked the entire year this year. Um, two inch double tournament appearances. Um, just making stuff like that that seems like, oh, they finally did that. So now it's going to be like when the, the teams after us that they go and do that stuff. It's like, oh, that's the standard. We've got another good class coming in next year, and you know we, we've been on the right path for us, um, you know a few years even before I got here. You know where we're competing and uh, you know for the FL and all that stuff. So. Um, you know, I have a lot of trust in those guys, especially to make big leaves coming next year, all four of them, you know, Lee Carey, uh, Reese, and Kobe. So uh, I'm excited for the future, and um, I think that, you know, we're in good hands.